What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at my Golgoroth challenge mode loot across all three of my characters. But let's first talk about the actual challenge itself. First off, let's just make one thing clear. It's way more of a challenge than last week's War Priest. It really is. As indeed this requires two times the teamwork which in my opinion is definitely a good thing. Now the strap my team used has got to be the easiest. Basically what we did was a slightly modified version of the one orb strat. First off we need someone to grab Golgoroth's attention and we shoot down that front left orb while the first person grabs his gaze. We then all jump down into the pit, stand in the pool and damage him as much as possible. The gaze holder needs to count down as soon as he gets that gaze though. This allows one person to jump out of the pit at around 8 seconds while everybody else still damages Golgoroth. This one person who jumped out of the pit was me. You should go to the right side where you got a clear view of Golgoroth's back and take the gaze from the first gaze holder at about the 3 second mark. Once the second gaze holder takes his gaze, everybody else jumps out of the pit, that being the remaining four players. Two people going to the left and two people going to the right, where I was. And it's as simple as switching Golgoroth's gaze amongst the four remaining people. So someone on the left takes his gaze from me, the second gaze holder, then someone on the right, on my side, takes the gaze from the person holding it on the left. And you do this until everybody's had the gaze. The faster the gaze is switched after the first initial gaze while you do damage to Golgoroth, the better, as it means less orbs will chase your ass down, and these things can be really annoying. Also to add, on the second one we did, someone died before the gaze had been passed to all six players, and we never got the chest spawn once we defeated Golgoroth. So you want to try not to die while holding the gaze or in the early stages and you haven't held the gaze yet. As I think until Golgoroth's dead, the gaze has to be held by all six people. Well let's take a look at what I obtained. Starting on my Hunter, obviously doing the challenge will award you an emblem and a calcified fragment. But I also got from Golgoroth, the Harold, Dark Hollow Chit and Chest Armor and two shards. From the challenge chest I got a 310 Dark Hollow Grasp. I got a 310 Crest of Alpha Luffy chest piece, exotic. I got a 310 and 320 artifact, as well as 320 Dark Hollow Grasps, which is badass. Now the inspection of all items I received will be showcased at the end if anybody's interested in seeing them. But moving on to my Titan and from Golgoroth, I got two shards and a War Numerous chest. But like I said earlier, due to someone dying, the challenge chest did not spawn, so we had to run basically it again. And the second time there was no fuck ups. And I received two artifacts, a 310 and a 320. I got a 310 War Numerous boots. I got a 310 Insurmountable School for Exotic Helmet. And I also got the 320 Herald War Numerous chest piece, which I'm happy with also. Moving on to my Warlock and from Golgoroth, I got two shards and a Path of Zal leg armors and a Herald Grasp of Ear gauntlets. From the challenge chest, I got two artifacts, a 310 and a 320. I got 310 Grasp of Ears, and I also got a 320 Harold Path of Zol Leg Armors. So yeah guys, this week I had some pretty epic loot from Challenge Mode. If you guys have done Challenge Mode this week, let me know what you've got down below in that comment section. Are any of you guys a 320 light score yet? I'm just about a 318 on my Hunter. Hopefully with next week's Challenge Mode, I can get to that 320. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace!
We all on YouTube every damn day. Watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many are the same. That's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Testing these gameplays, weekly snipes. Heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.